Okay, Tech Tip Tuesday. Welcome back, guys. Today, Tech Tip, we are going to talk about DirecTV and Dish Network. So, I personally have a love-hate relationship with both of them. One of the things that we've encountered literally more times than we can count. We started in 2005, and I honestly cannot count the number of times that I've went into a project, visited someone's home, they've complained that their audio or video, or that their audio isn't sounding quite right, or maybe the video doesn't look as good as they thought, um, Dish Network or DirecTV came out and they're just not really happy with it. So we come out, we take a look, turns out that maybe their DirecTV or Dish box failed. Technician from that provider came out, swapped it out, said thank you very much and went on their way. We go into the settings and we find out that the technician never enabled Dolby Surround Sound. So ever since that box was installed, it's been outputting left and right audio into their theater room, into their surround sound system and they're wondering why it sounds so crappy. So your tech tip for today is to go into that settings menu on your DirecTV boxes and your Dish Network boxes and your local, whether it be Sparklight or Cable One boxes, verify that that, that that surround sound feature is turned on. In most boxes, it's only a couple menus down, settings, video, settings, audio, and it's literally just something you toggle on or off. It'll say like Dolby Digital or it'll say surround sound and you'll literally set it to on or off. Turn that on, you'll be amazed with how much better your sound will sound, okay? You'll now suddenly get that full surround effect in that room. Obviously, don't do this in a room where you don't have surround sound, because if you do, then you'll lose sound, okay? And if you want, we'll come out and fix it for you, but probably not what you're looking for, all right? So remember, only enable it in rooms that you have a surround sound system, including a receiver, okay? So that, the other thing is on the video side. We see it all the time where the video was never set up. It defaulted to 480p or 1080i, and that's all they're getting. So make sure to go into those video settings, change those settings to what your TV is. If your TV is 1080p, set it to 1080p, obviously. If it's 4K, set it to 4K. A small little tech tip for you on that one also, DirecTV and Dish Network have different boxes to get your 4K content. So if you, if you bought that nice 4K TV, make sure and call out to DirecTV, make sure and call the Dish Network, get your 4K box in there so you can get your system really working with that beautiful TV you have and that wonderful surround you have, okay? Enjoy your Tuesday.